All right, let's consider this motion. Number one. If this particle is going with, say, uh, five increasing speed, increasing speed, and the acceleration is eight meter per second, okay, increasing speed, so this is acceleration. If this object is moving to the right hand side with slowing down, decreasing speed, slowing down, and when the A is negative 8 meter per second, we say this is called deceleration. Slow down. Right? Number three. If this object is going the opposite direction. He makes a U-turn back and goes to opposite direction. And it is also increasing speed. Increasing speed in opposite direction. Then the A is now a negative 8 meter per second. So this negative 8 meter per second doesn't show deceleration anymore. It is still acceleration. Still acceleration but opposite direction can you follow so this negative doesn't mean slowing down this negative will show that it is moving in opposite direction it is still increasing speed okay and at last what happened if i have another one say this is going to opposite direction going to opposite direction with slowing down, with decreasing speed, with decreasing speed, and the acceleration is negative 8. So here we say it is deceleration now, because it is slowing down. All right? So this is very important. Okay? So with the acceleration deceleration, speed, velocity, and so on, how are we going to find or calculate the speed in experimentally? What we call this as ticketing. In the ticker tape, in the ticker tape, we will use alternating current, AC. This alternating current has frequency 50 hertz. What does 50 hertz mean? Now, in the ticker tape, probably you have seen in your experiment that uh, it is where by there is a pin here. This is a carbon paper and uh, it is generated by 50 hertz. And this is a paper. We call it ticker tape. All right, ticker tape. And what happened when this when this uh, needle moves up and down because due to the alternating current and when you pull, when you pull the paper, when you pull the paper, this will hit on the carbon paper. This is a carbon paper. This is a carbon paper. You are going to see dots like this, exactly like this paper. You see, when I pull, so this is called dots. All right, the dots, the dots. So, when you pull the paper, this is what your tape is. Generally, I have a tape. I pull the paper, and uh, these are all the dots that you're going to see on the paper. When you pull, you see, it hits like what I did just now. You see, when this is a, assuming my hand is a thicker tape. So when you pull the paper, if you don't move the paper, it's just one dot. You see, one dot. But when you pull, so you're going to see the spacing. So these are all the dots, okay? And this is dots. So there are some definition here. This is all dots. Between the dots, this is called the ticks. One tick, two tick, three tick, 
and so on. Okay? So if I pull the paper, let's look at let's look at the the various type of motion, the speed. Number one, if all this spacing are the same, that means I pull the paper with a I pull the paper with a constant speed. So this is called constant speed. Correct? You see, I pull the paper, all these are uniform. B, what happened now when I pull the paper? When I pull the paper very, very fast. See, first it is here, second here. When I put it very fast, the spacing is now so far apart. So in other words, the bigger the spacing, the faster is the object. So which means that if I pull, if I pull this, the spacing is small, getting more, getting more and even more. So that means it shows that this is slow. This is fast, further apart. And if even further distance, this is even faster. So in other words, what does this show? It shows that it is increasing speed. It shows that it is increasing speed, you see, from slow to fast. Increasing speed. Can you follow? Right? Now, what about this? If I have the ticker tape again, and I pull the ticker tape to this direction, it is from very, very far to very, very close. So, what does it show? When it is very, very far, it is very, very fast. Fast, faster, fast, nearer will be slower, and even slower, and so on. So what does it show? It shows that the speed is decreasing speed. Okay, decreasing speed. So in short, we want to calculate what is the velocity. You know that velocity or speed, it is the displacement divided by time. Okay? Now, if this is the ticker tape, and the direction is here, when you pull the direction means I pull from this direction, okay? And now, very important, just now I told you that it is run by alternating current. Alternating current is 50 hertz. What does 50 hertz mean? 50 hertz means 50 dots per second, 50 times per second in one second. That means each time that the needle drop, it's 1 over 50 second. And that will be 0 0.02 second. So this 0 0.02 second is the time between the two dots. So one tick, one tick ticks 0 0.02 second. So this is called one tick. One tick, 0 0.02 second. And if I want to measure from here to here, say this is 8 meter. So can we find what is the speed? Yes, the speed will be distance over time. How many spacing are there? One tick, two tick, three tick, three times one tick is 0 0.02 second. And that will give you how many meter per second. 